Patients with hypothyroidism often get test results with TPO antibodies on them, and they're baffled. They ask, what are these TPO antibodies, and what do high TPO antibodies mean? TPO antibodies are antibodies that are made by the immune system that attach themselves to thyroid peroxidase or TPO, which is an important enzyme for the production of thyroid hormones T3 and T4. Autoantibodies to TPO or TPO antibodies appear when the immune system mistakenly attacks the thyroid gland leading to the formation of these antibodies. This can occur in a variety of illnesses, including Hashimoto's thyroiditis, Graves' disease, and postpartum thyroiditis. In Hashimoto's disease, this occurs after the gland is invaded by white blood cells known as lymphocytes, leading to the destruction of the gland and ultimately to hypothyroidism. So does the presence of TPO antibodies in your blood automatically mean that you have one of these diseases? The answer is no. About 10% of healthy people without Hashimoto's disease have elevated TPO antibodies in their blood. And about 10% of people with Hashimoto's disease do not have TPO antibodies in their blood. If you have hypothyroidism and you have elevated TPO antibodies, it can help your doctor diagnose you with Hashimoto's disease. But that is rarely necessary because in countries where there is no iodine deficiency, almost everyone that has hypothyroidism and does not have a history of radioactive thyroid ablation or thyroid surgery will in fact have Hashimoto's disease. So what do you need to do about your TPO antibodies? The answer is nothing, absolutely nothing. If you do have hypothyroidism, your doctor will treat the hypothyroidism with levothyroxine. And over the years, your TPO antibodies may decline and may even disappear, although this rarely happens. So why do doctors test for TPO antibodies? TPO antibodies can help doctors determine the risk of someone who has hypothyroidism without symptoms of their developing full-blown hypothyroidism in the future. This is known as subclinical hypothyroidism. People with subclinical hypothyroidism have an elevated TSH value and normal thyroid hormone levels and are generally without symptoms, asymptomatic. If these people do have TPO antibodies, their risk of developing overt hypothyroidism is double the risk of persons with subclinical hypothyroidism and no TPO antibodies. TPO antibodies can also help determine the risk of pregnant women developing hypothyroidism, which is important to avoid during pregnancy. These patients need to be monitored more closely. In very rare cases, TPO antibodies can be elevated in certain types of thyroid cancer. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you want to learn more about levothyroxine treatment of thyroid disease, take a look at this video here.